Hey everyone, today I want to go over one of my tools, Zip Merge. I've made a lot of uh, updates to it recently, so I figured it might be good to make a video on it. So just like the name says, it merges vertices like a zip. So first thing to mention is we need at least one edge before the initial selection. You can run Zip Merge through the M menu, the Merge menu. And off the bat, you can just set your iterations like so. And it will merge as many. You can just enter this in, however many you require. Uh, and it's also got enable corner detection here. So what a corner is, is it's basically a vertice which has two um, neighboring edges here. So this is also a corner. This is a corner. And sometimes, or well, most of the time, this is where you want your merges to finish or terminate. Because, for example, if I merge these like so, this is bad topology. You don't want to have these uh, stray vertices, these loose vertices. It's not good. So generally, when you want to merge, you want to be alerted that this is going to happen and for the merge to stop for you to fix it manually. So let's just go back a step. And we'll run zip merge. And now we'll enable corner detection. Now this will stop at the corners. So if we increase the amount of merges, it will stop here. But, so now you know this is a potentially problematic area. So you can come in here and delete that. And then you can run the tool again. And it will just keep merging. Um, the other option is instead of stop at corners, we have use angle tolerance. Now, I'll just bring it back to one here. I can set this to something crazy like 20. And it's going to get to this point here. And because that angle, actually, I'll just step back a few frames, sorry. Set this to five. So because this, we're, we're detecting this angle here, and if it is smaller than our angle tolerance, the merging will stop. And this is generally, you know, when you get to the border of your mesh, you want to stop merging at this point. So you don't keep merging, you know, these, these together. So let's just undo and we'll run that again. Zip merge. Now, if I just keep increasing that, Again, nothing's going to happen. It's stopped after six iterations because looking at the angle tolerance of the corner, we've reached that threshold and it will stop. And those are basically the main options within the tool. We can also dial in that edge threshold if we need to. So let's just go on to a few examples of how this can be useful. Okay, and now next example we're going to use some marvelous designer geometry which is originally why the tool was developed to help with stitching seams together so first things first let's grab these two vertices here merge them together and let's run zip merge enable corner detection use angle tolerance 120 should be fine in most cases and we'll set this to something like 20 and you can see that has merged all the way to the end here. We also have another seam down the bottom here, as you can see. Let's merge that together, creating one edge. Run zip merge. Bang, that's merged together. And we can see we have some other edges to sew around here. And that hasn't quite made it on 20 iterations. Let's set it to 50. Done. Another one down here. Great, that's made it to the end. So now we don't have any um, seams on the side that need fixing. Now let's merge our sleeve to the shirt. Again, just creating that one edge before executing zip merge. Run zip merge. 50 definitely won't cut it. It's only got us halfway, so I'd probably say it maybe 250. Great. 
And now we have easily stitched all of those seams together pretty painlessly. And that would have been really problematic using just standard tools, just with how messy some of this geometry is. So you kind of just take the question mark out of it and just know that your, your vertices are going to be merged together um, just like a zip. All right, let's move on to another example. Another popular use case for zip merges to fix things like radial arrays. This sort of thing is quite tricky to fix. Um, you could merge by distance. Uh, however, that's going to create all sorts of issues with these really small edges and uh, faces down here. You could also bridge it and put an edge loop down the middle. That'll destroy your UVs. So, you know, a clean way to do this is to use zip merge. So let's just apply our geometry nodes modifier and we want to recreate this symmetry line down here so first thing we're going to do merge those bits together run zip merge enable corner detection and i know it's a pretty simple geometry there's a nice clean edge loop going around so corner detection the simpler version without edge tolerance is going to work just fine for this so let's set this to something like 500 And we'll let that process and there you go it's merged all the way down and we've preserved our uvs as you can see from that seam line there as well so yeah these are just a couple of um, use cases for for when zip merge comes in handy there are so many uses for this i use it every day uh, so yeah pick it up on the um, blender market or my gum road in the links below thanks